Yeah, well, I came to the Positive Psychology Conference to hear what the peers in, in the industry and in the field had to say and also to offer my perspective. So I came here to present on how data can help schools plan for well-being. I'm also very excited about the um, use of technology to promote well-being, the things about apps and online sites to help uh, young people. I find that very, very exciting. I think we can use psychology to try and uncover ways we can encourage ethical behaviour in other people, such as giving to third world countries, having ethical food choices and things like that, so enhancing the well-being of not only humans but animals as well. How can positive psychology help the everyday person? That's my dream, that everybody is helped by positive psychology. I guess understanding what are the core components of well-being, much like we now understand what the core components are for our physical health, being really clear on what the core components are for our psychological or mental health. I'm very much excited about this conference because um, I get to meet with people whom I have just read in books. I'm really fascinated to hear what's going on in Australia at the moment because I think that we've got a lot of cutting edge research happening here. Positive psychology is very important. It should be paid more attention in China. We hope that. We hope more Chinese people will focus on positive psychology to make our children, our next generation, our own generation more imaginative. I think governments will have to come on board with the groundswell that's occurring regardless of them supporting positive psychology at a huge scale. I attended because I wanted to be able to add to the learning that I'm already doing in the MAP course, so to be able to access cutting edge research and literature around what's happening in positive psychology. What really got me excited about positive psychology was when I saw a young guy who was actually a, a brilliant academically and at sport and the captain of his school, one of the leading schools in Melbourne, and two years out of school he was completely lost and in no direction in life, he was depressed and I thought there was something wrong with the education system and I really felt that he should have learnt coping skills, resilience and a bunch of other things through school and I think that, and I, and that would have made an enormous difference. So my motivation's really been to see how we can actually get that happening. I think Melbourne University has done a great job. And the highlight for me is not only having the best theorists in the world um, at the conference, but actually seeing the practical applications of positive psychology to the school context and to individual context.